So we're here at the Institute of Contemporary Art and it's freezing so we're gonna head right in. So we're meeting two other friends in here, Amanda and Michaela, and they didn't, uh, we're waiting inside because it's freezing. And this is Michaela who's never been on a vlog before. She is Amanda's sister and she is a vegan. <laughs> I, that's true. <laughs> So here's um, a wheelchair that they said you can use if you need it and little portable stools. Um, so that's a nice touch and then you can just bring it back when you're done. The exhibits I, or gallery is on the fourth floor. What's great is that Bank of America has a program where in the first weekend of every month you can get free into some museums. So that's why we're here today at the Institute of Contemporary Art. So I'm not going to show my Bank of America card, but if you have one, bring your ID and your Bank of America card and you'll get it free. And there's a list online of the participating museums. So security told them to put their bags in the front. We're not really sure why. Mine looks pretty hilarious on uh, Michaela. But this is bringing us back to high school because can you explain what happened in high school? Back in the day, back in 20, 2009 to 2013, our class chose to wear their backpacks like this. It wasn't just our class. This was like a tradition that had been going on for years. Yes, and my it's, class did it. Yeah, it stayed going on past us. And it was dumb. No, but actually who, it was very efficient. Who started it? I want to know who started it. That's a big mystery. Now we're going to look at art. This one is called Belly Button. It's an Audi. Hey, can, I, can I talk to your viewers? Viewers, this is not the art. This is the art. Nice coordination of your hat and your shoes. Thank you, I did it on purpose. This is this art. Is this part of the art? I think this is part of the art. If you're the artist who made this, I'm sorry we're even questioning but it. I know. This is an interesting one. So we're not really sure if we understand art, but we're attempting to try. Can I give my interpretation of this piece? Sure. Okay. So right here, we have a, I call it bear attack. We have the ripped, the ripped clothes. It looks like the woods. We have this tree branch. <laughs> Does it have a name? Or did you name it? I just called it Bear Attack. Wow, lovely. Thank you. I love it. If one of the artists hears us, they're gonna be like, get out. Here are some art snobs discussing art. He's dropping. Any insight? What was that? He wouldn't be able to balance on that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I was. I did not know what that was. Wow. Now you know. Yeah. If you guys can't, you think I can? <laughs> That's not an accessible um, piece of art to reenact. <laughs> We like the texture of this one. And it's sparkly. We like that. The Boston Scrambler. Mm. 
Oh, evolution to the Boston Strangler. Oh, we really had two K for comb over. Ooh, I know. <laughs> this is um, a random baby. Cute little baby. Any thoughts or insights? Oh my thought. This is the invisible ground of sympathy, which they're writing is the connection of all humans. But I um, would argue that someone for the people in the cheap seats can't hear you. I would argue that empathy is the connection, not sympathy. Whoa. Okay. Truth bomb here. Psychology major. Where are we going? Oh, the next room, right across the hall. Oh. These are nice little um, seats that you can take if you need to sit down. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and these are the wheelchairs that they also mentioned that you can just take and bring back if you please. So, I don't know if those are part of the museum, but... No, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. You don't usually see that yeah, places. That's okay. True. That's why I'm so surprised. Okay. That's cool. Going into the next room. Ooh, Yay, colorful. This looks fun. Ooh, this looks oh, this fun. Is fun. This is an interesting thing you can do. You can scan the QR code and hear the artist talk about how or why they made the works and what they were like as children. So it's a nice, interesting touch. Can you explain it? This artist creates artworks that seek to unsettle societal mm -hmm. preconceptions around health and ability. Oh, bringing attention to accessibility through art. That's pretty cool. We kept staring at this one, thinking it moved, because Amanda started that rumor. Um, so so we kept staring at this one, thinking it moves, but it's really this one, which is very cool. We're going in somewhere that lays off people's fears. So it's a little dark in here, but um, I can still see where I'm going. What's going on here, ladies? So we can add our drawings oh, to this cool. book. So like a community sketchbook? Yeah, community sketchbook. So what am I gonna do? Let me go right here. What should I draw? We're gonna draw a flower. I feel, ooh, what's the symbolism behind that? Spring is in the mind? Like yes. We're in the middle of a, oh wow, no, this is real art. This is real like all art. over my notebook. That's like an no, ancient, ancient. If you know, you know. It's an ancient um, art form. Yes. Spring is on the mind. Yes. We um, don't care what the mm -hmm. groundhog said. This is this is similar. Six though. weeks of winter. <laughs> my ass. <laughs>
left. He's a children's book illustrator, which makes sense looking at some of these. He's from Roxbury, Mass., a local artist. Yeah, this is cool because I feel like we all did stuff like this when you were younger. Oh, yeah. Making like superheroes and stuff like that. So this is actually my favorite exhibit so far when we just got here because it has all of the children's books that we used to read and new favorites as well. This is a great one by BJ Novak. Um, I just really love children's books. This one's a classic. Also, Good Night Moon. Another classic. I feel like I've seen that. Why mosquitoes buzz in people's ears? Yeah, I feel like I've seen that before. But you don't know the answer why. I don't. Because they're hungry. I think it's a little deeper than that. It's Ch a children's book. Yeah, well, children's books have a lot of lessons that people could learn from. So what do, why do you think they buzz in the ears? Maybe they're lonely. Get ready for story time so we can see who is right. So this is actually the story about cause and effect. So basically what happened is a mosquito lies to an iguana who puts sticks in his ears and ends up frightening a snake, which down the line causes a panic. And then in the end, an owl is accidentally killed and the owl is too sad to wake the sun and then the animals hold court and find out who is responsible. The mosquito is eventually found out but she hides in order to escape punishment. So now she constantly buzzes in people's ears to find out if everyone is still angry at her. So I think those of us, like the mosquito and myself, can relate to the concept of always wondering if someone is mad at them. But the story was more dramatic than I think either of us thought. And so, and I also, we're, we're pretty, we're like definitely some of the oldest GIs that I've ever, I don't know, I think older than that. I'm, I'm 27, um, and my brother's 31, who were found by my donor dad through just the community, and so a lot of my story has to do with, they had all moved to New Mexico. My
So this is actually different countries mm -hmm. of drawings that children drew on. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. About 500 here. And this is the seaport area of Boston. It's a nice view of it. I'm afraid of heights, so I'm not going right <laughs> next to the window. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah. Can someone call Michaela over? Can you just stand right here for a second? Why? Just stand right here. Okay. I ask this all the time about her. So everything's pretty much on the fourth floor as far as galleries go. I will not go on that elevator. It sounds so scary. I'm afraid of heights. That's the biggest elevator I've ever seen, especially a glass one. Oh, should we just go to the theater? Yeah. See what it's all about? Okay. Going to the theater. What did you guys think of the art? I like Very it. interesting. Yes. yes. I, I think I have an eye for art now. Oh, you <laughs> do? Okay. No, I, I wish I had an eye for art. Yeah. I think that the shows must be scheduled because when we went to the theater floor, this is what we saw. Oh. So we probably had to do some the research ahead of time. So we're going to go into the gift shop. This is the common room, which has some food options. And the restrooms are here, but there was another entrance in the middle of that hallway there leading to the accessible restrooms. Pretty view of the seaport. Some family library, it's very cute. And this is probably the wall of art or art wall we just yeah. kept seeing it somewhere we're thinking this is it it, looks like a very it nice definitely looks like art yes and the way to the gift shop is very accessible it has a nice smooth path down what i really like about this museum is the flooring is very smooth so on on our way to the store These are so cool. So unfortunately, my second battery was not fully charged, so I'm back to using an iPhone for now for the rest of this trip. But I showed most of the movies, like all of the galleries with my Sony ZV-1. So this is mainly just the gift shop and where we choose to eat after. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I guess. They have a lot of variety of things here. Beanies. Just like, like the paper store. Yeah, yeah. or like uh, like? Newberry Comics or something like that. Oh my god, this is the only good things. Oh, it's a it's a journal. Oh. I was expecting to see. You wanted good some ideas of yes. the things you didn't want to have to come up I with. I didn't want them. to come up with any. <laughs> this rabbit was in one of the videos. I don't know if it's the same one, but seems to have found his way around this museum. <laughs> Sneaky little rabbit. <laughs> A lot more cute stuff than I was anticipating for a more fancy art gallery. But they do have a lot of children's. Oh my <laughs> god, that is adorable. They have a lot of children's books exhibits going on right now, so I'm wondering if this gift shop changes or not. I think that would be a lot of work, but they have a lot of gift options for all ages. <laughs> Okay, what, um, did you see a book? Oh, you, um, like that book? So here we have From Crook to Cook, Snoop Dogg, The Dog's, The Boss Dog's Kitchen. Now Pla that's an interesting gift. Platinum Recipes. I wonder if Martha Stewart helped them with that. I think she did, actually. Because they're friends. I wonder they're if like it's a dedicated friends. to her? 
I don't know. We're gonna have to look. It's actually a long book. It is a long book. Let's just flip to a random page. The mac and cheese. Mac and cheese with a K. The orange chicken with right white rice. Orange, but really kind of burgundy. Wow, I like the success. So overall, we're really glad that we went to the Institute of Contemporary Art today here in the Seaport neighborhood of Boston. It's very accessible, so I definitely recommend it, especially if you go on one of the Bank of America weekends or if you have another discount. And we're not really art experts, so don't let that discourage you from going if you're not. It's just an interesting thing to do on um, uh, any day, but it's freezing today, which is why we enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, so definitely give it a lot of points for accessibility, and we're very happy we came. So I recommend the Institute of Contemporary Art in Boston. So one thing about Seaport that's good is it's a very newly built neighborhood of Boston, especially in comparison to the rest of Boston, which is historic. So the condition of the streets are quite good, I do have to say. So we're on our way now to a place to eat. I think it's called Honey Girl and it's freezing. So we'll show more inside. A few places we've gone today had the pipes first. That's how cold it is in Boston right now. It's a polar vertex that we're recovering from today. So we've got Target closed, the Boston Public Library closed. So let's see if Honey Girl is open. Oh, it's open. We're in luck. Okay. Oh, it's Honey Grow. I thought it was Honey Girl. Honey Girl. Not all of us could find something we liked on the menu there. So now we're heading to Tate, I believe it's called. It's just a short walk away. <laughs> so Michaela's going back to Honey Grow to get something vegan and there was like nowhere to sit in here. So now we're going to Greco and hopefully we find something. These doors seem heavy and there's no reason. But thank you Amanda for getting into with this kind of thing. This is a great place. And they also have a little market. The little market is mostly Greek, which is interesting. And also imported goods. Pretty cool. I need to rewatch my big fat Greek wedding to really understand and appreciate this. So I got pita and I got olive oil and then this honey vinaigrette and then I got the fries with the little feta cheese and they did have ketchup which was surprising. Amanda, what did you get? I got chicken with fries and pita and then some Greek slaw. And ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> and then Michaela went back to Honey Grow, not Honey Girl, and what did you get? I got a vegan stir fry. Because you're vegan. It's true. It's, it's my one identity. Yep. So what did Hello. you get? This is Camilla's meal. So I got the Greco bowl and it comes with lemon rice pilaf, um, chicken gyro, uh, Brussels sprouts, a salad, and I believe that is hummus. I believe. Okay. <laughs> so we're done with our food and I really like the fries. They were good. Um, and then I also like pita because I love bread, obviously. Um, the olive oil was good, just typical olive oil. And then the honey vinaigrette I also got for the pita bread. And it has that salad dressing -y taste. So it was pretty good. Um, I liked it. Can you please give your um, point of view? Yeah, so my point of view, uh, my stir fry was a little bit, honestly, it was a little bit too sweet for me slightly too heavy like I can still feel the heaviness of it in me that's my review but overall like it was a nice little little snack you know okay that's enough thank you um, <laughs> Amanda good I liked it how was your bowl Camilla my bowl was great Danielle 
it was, it's completely gone. I had rice and chicken and... Oh, how was the rice? Did it, it was called lemon rice, yeah. which made me hesitant to get it because I didn't want it to be too lemony. It wasn't lemony, it wasn't that lemony. I'd say it was the perfect amount of lemon and Danielle should have gotten it. Okay. <laughs> Is that the end of your review? It's not the end of my review. Actually, thank you for asking. So, my favorite part about Greco is that they give us free water. And I am a big advocate for free water at restaurant establishments. So if you like move the camera behind you, right now, right now, that is, that is the water. They are so nice to give us free water cups and to serve ourselves getting some of that free water. Did not know that was ice. That was water. Just enjoying some of that free water. Back to me. Okay, what about free tastes better. So we're back at Tate getting dessert. So what I purchased... Oh god, I was wrong. Is I could have sworn the, the woman took out the chocolate yeah. mousse. I think Maybe because things. I was really wanting it, but I'm feeling full. Maybe. Okay, what did you get? So I got Hold the... Hold it up for the camera, please. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna have the strawberry... Well, raspberry cheesecake cup with a strawberry in the middle. Oh, I didn't even notice. You didn't that. notice. And it looks beautiful. Okay. Okay. Basically the same thing, but no fruit. Cheesecake, Cheesecake cup. Cheesecake cup. Cheesecake cup. Yeah. Amanda, what do you think? Well, Amanda loved it. Oh. <laughs> and Camilla, how about you? I'll be honest, I am also really full from the Greco, and that's why I'm eating really slow, but it's really good. Can you speak a little louder? A little louder. This is good. <laughs> hey, did you find free water again? Yeah, so Danielle's subscribers, uh, we're here at Tate in uh, Boston Seaport. And um, they have free water. <laughs> That's how it should be, folks. In Boston, Seaport, come through. These um, gray box things are called the current and they're pretty much pop-ups. So we're heading to one now called Baked so by Melissa. These are cool. Yep, so. If you want, you can also grab. so these things are pretty cool, but they're not very accessible because they don't have any powered doors and they're very small on the inside. So while I like the concept, I wish they were a bit more accessible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>